Hi, these are the tiny change journal planners. Now, why are these called journal planners? Because this particular product is half planner and half journal. So this is the undated version of the journal planner and you, you can use it for a minimum of 12 months. The planner comes in two different cover options. Both are nature inspired themes that you can see. This is option number one and this one is option number two. You can pick your choice. This is how the front of the planner looks like and this is the back side of both the planners. The insights of both the planners are exactly the same. Both of these have uh, a pen holder, two bookmark ribbons and also has an elastic loop that you can use like this and also have a pouch on the back side of the planners like this. Okay, so let's keep one planner aside and then go through the inside pages in more detail. Once you open the planner, this is where you write your name followed by there are some pages which explains to you in detail the best way to use this planner and to gain the most from it. You also have some tips to achieve any of your life goals, the habits to build, etc. You'll start writing the planner with my goals for the next 12 months and the habits I want to build or break in the next 12 months. You will add these across the four different key areas of health, wealth, happiness and wisdom which you will see getting repeated at various uh, parts in this planner. Once you go ahead, you have the key dates to remember. You can note down for the next 12 months your ideal week design which will help you stay productive and mindful. And the same way, how do you want to design your days? What should be your morning routine? How will you close at the end of the day? How, how will you start your work slots? Right? And how do you, will you close work? What are the things that you want to do on a repeated basis? Then there is a detailed explanation of how we have designed this planner, what does each section mean, etc. You can go through that in detail to understand how to use this planner effectively. Now, once you get into the planning pages section, it's divided into 12 undated months. As you can see, this is month number one and every month will start with a master plan for the month. For this month, what are your top goals? How are you going to improve yourself across the four different areas? There's also a calendar section where you can note down the key appointments and events that you want to remember. There's a habit tracker. There's a separate page for you to note down all the open to-dos and the tasks that you have for the month ahead. You can also categorize them under four different groups. Uh, each month also gets its own budget and expense tracker and also a meal planner which is divided into four different weeks. So once you're done with the start of the month planning, you will get into the planning view or the planning pages. So this planner journal or journal planner has a weekly spread and there are two parts to this weekly spread. The left side is a planning spread and the right side is the journaling spread as you can see. So um, the format is pretty simple. You have planning space Monday all the way to Sunday out here. Saturday, Sunday is in different color. You also have a to-do list, a running list. Now you can use it either to write down the task only for this particular day or you can use it as a running list for the week. There is space for you to note down uh, the things you want to remember, your appointments or your to-dos. All that can be written in the space here. It's an undated one so you will start each week by writing down which month is it and which week is it. So this is where all the planning happens. Now on the right side, you can see that there is a journal question. So that's why this is a guided journal. It guides you over the week of over a 52 week period across various different journey questions to help you understand yourself better. So this is a question and you can write down or journal your answer here. And according to the question, there's also like a monoline um, uh, drawing out here or an illustration which corresponds to a particular question. Also, there's a quote here. Um, you may also want to use some parts of this to, to make notes if you want, or you can exclusively keep this site for journaling. So this question will change every week. So you can see there's a different question. Think about someone who 
had a great positive impact on your life. What would you say to them now? How can you pay that forward to someone else? Right, so the questions and the illustrations change every day. So this goes for five weeks in in month one and then there is a month end review and then the month two starts again with planning pages, events and habits, key tasks, budgets, meal planner and then it gets to the week planning pages. So this repeats for um, 52 weeks or for an entire year but it's undated so you can start and use it for any 52 weeks and then at the end of those planning pages you will have your list section this is where you will have the mood tracker for the year exercise tracker for the year inspiring quotes self-care ideas to try out favorite moments things that uplift my mood my stress management plan people who inspire me and my favorite moments you also have four sticker pages and some of them have gold foiling too as you can see this is how they look like and at the end of the planner you have some free blank dot grid pages you can use them as notes and that's it so these are the tiny change journal planners so if you're someone who loves planning for the week and also love journaling about how your week went this is an excellent choice for you. Thank you.